Hi friends! Today is gonna be my wrap up for the Contemporary Thon Weekend Edition. First things first, let's do a little bit of an office tour, shall we? If you can't tell, this is like a different angle, different view behind me. Part of that's just because I reorganized my shelves, but part of it's because I moved my whole office. So let's do that first. So we have to start out here with the fact that I now have a sign to turn on whenever I'm live so that my family knows that I'm live and not to interrupt me. I also have a doorbell. They don't really use my doorbell, but new office setup. I know, it's crazy. Also, it's not really clean in here, so don't worry about that aspect of it. So you may remember that my couch was over here in front of my shelves, but now it's over here, all by itself, dog's bed, small bookshelf that has all of my pagan -y stuff on it, TV stand, cat, large cat. I also reorganized all of my shelves. It's kind of shiny up there at the top. But all of my shelves have been reorganized and updated and Nissa's over there on a shelf. That's my dragon, Nissa. She's not supposed to be on a shelf, but she is right now. Because again, it's messy. I haven't finished everything yet. And then over here is my TBR cart and my planner cart that has all of my planner stuff on it. I don't have a problem. I have no idea what you're talking about. My problem is about lost it all. And then my desk. And I just filmed a planner video, so it's kind of messy over here. Again, like I said, room's not clean, but I'm watching a Kate video, but decided to take a minute to do some filming. And then there's like a little stand over there that's got some more stuff on it. So, like, this is my view from my desk. A cat. And some books. And some really cool artwork over there. And a bunch of pictures of my nieces and nephews and the perpetually angry, pissed off cat. I don't know where Merlin is today, you just get fits. That is your office update. Now for the wrap up portion. I read three books for the weekend. I didn't actually end up reading anything on Monday, which I had planned on, but I didn't. It's how it works sometimes. But I did manage to read three books, I did fulfill all three challenges, and I read an entire series. And the series I read was The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. So I read The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. And it used to bother me that this cover doesn't match the other two. And then I realized this one's signed. So I don't really care very much anymore, you know? It's fine. The first challenge was to read a short book, a book under 250 pages. I went through all of my contemporary novels that I had, which was about 22 of them, and the shortest that I had was 276, and I had about three that were in that range. So the first book that I read, The Summer I Turned Pretty, is a 276 page book. So that is what I'm counting for a short read. Um, I wanted to read stuff that was on my shelf so I didn't want to have to borrow anything or buy something new in order to complete a challenge so I just made the challenge work for what I had. I gave this book a 2.75 out of 5 stars. Sounds right? I think it's right. The next challenge was to read a peachy book so I read It's Not Summer Without You. Uh, this was part of the reason why I picked this series because it was the peachiest book that I had and I rated this one a 3.25 out of 5 stars. This was definitely my favorite of the series. And then We'll Always Have Summer. I read this as like the book that makes you happy or a book that makes you feel good. Something of that sort. So this was the book for that challenge. I gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It was my lowest rated. But to be fair, the last couple of pages did make me really happy. Let's talk about the series as a whole, shall we? I have previously read Jenny's To All the Boys I Loved Before. I actually read that entire series in about 20 hours. I read book one and book two back to back and then went to work for a four hour shift and then came home and read book three. That was a thing that I did a couple of years ago. So I already knew that I liked Jenny's writing style and I had purchased these. I also have her trilogy that is co-written with Siobhan Vivian, which I will read at some point as well. But I decided that with the Peach Book theme, now is the perfect time to read the summer series, plus it's almost summer. 
sounded like a great idea. For me, this series was interesting, well written. I liked some of the characters and I like a lot of what happened in the second book. I just didn't really love the plot necessarily. I don't feel like it had a lot of plot and the plot that was in book three I really didn't like. But the thing is is that I read them back to back to back super quickly and that's the thing with Jenny's writing is that she is able to write even a mediocre plot line that makes you absorb it and just love every minute of it which is really weird because even though I was like rolling my eyes and like oh my gosh these teenagers they're killing me I kept reading it and I was having a great time. There's a big difference between a mediocre plot that you don't enjoy and is written bad and you don't want to keep reading it and something that you're like I have to read this I have to know what happens I have to know what happens next I have to continue and that was definitely the case with this series. I don't think really the series was bad by any means but I'm 33 it was written for probably people half my age or less than that and I do think that it's something that my nieces would really enjoy which is why I will be keeping them even though I did rate them fairly low I do think it's something that my nieces would really enjoy and would love to read maybe some of them once they're just a smidge older but I think it's something for them and I think it is something that's definitely for their age range versus my age range so hopefully it's something that they will enjoy and I think that's part of it. I think if I had read this when they came out in 2009, 10, and 11 I probably would have enjoyed it a lot better because I would have been in my early 20s versus in my early 30s and I think that would have made a big difference on it as well. One of the main things about this series that really stuck out with me is one of the main characters dies in the second book and it's it's written so well, it's done so well and the way that Jenny is able to like weave in real life in that aspect and, and kind of layer things in is just done really well. She did a really great job at that and I really appreciate the work that went into that to make the story even better and I think that's why book two is my favorite book of the series but it just it really worked for me. So those were the three books that I read for the contemporary -thon. If you have any questions about these books let me know in the comments below or if you would like to discuss them we can absolutely do that because that's why we're here. One last thing before I go you will notice that my outro is gonna be different and some things on my channel are also going to be changing and that is because starting today all of my planner content will be on a separate channel so on my planner channel you will find a new video today as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related content on Mondays and Wednesdays with bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!